Hello, this is Martin Brossman. And Greg Heyer. And what we want to show you today is how to create a long form post on LinkedIn. Yep. Long form posts are really good for sharing your professional expertise on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn has actually made it available for everybody to start blogging on their platform, which is where they want you to blog. So here's several of mine. Uh, Greg, you have an article that's how many thousand hits on it now? Just under 25,000. 25,000, yeah. So this is an important piece to understand of putting some of your best content on LinkedIn. So we're going to actually post something here to give you a sense of it. So I'm on my profile and I'll click LinkedIn right here, the in, getting back here. And then it says share an update, share an update. And if you look on the right, we have two things. We have a paper clip, which is you know used for attaching a document or an image or a video or something like that in your update. And then a pencil. And this is where you would start to create a long form post on LinkedIn. Excellent. So we'll... Open this up and it looks like this. So then this is also where the quickest way to come back to see your drafts. Right. Yeah, because you can save these in drafts and, uh, and work on them later. Uh, work on them on an airplane while you're flying. Don't work on them while you're driving unless you have a driver. Uh, but this is, uh, this is where you want to come back to in order to edit your drafts. So first you want to add a photo to it and then we'll scroll down and I'm going to go ahead. I have a photo on the desktop they want to bring in. So yeah, just take note that LinkedIn does give you the recommendation on what size you want to uh, use for a photo. And in this case, it's a uh, 698 by 400, but LinkedIn will also resize it to make it the appropriate, uh, the appropriate size and fit to the right ratio. So this is the photo I want to use with this and then we'll scroll down and headline. So I'm going to go over, I have it in Word here, so I'm going to grab it in Word and grab the headline and just do a standard controls V to cut and paste this. So now I'm going to paste my content in and what I want to point out here is these are standard uh, tools here that you should be accustomed to if you've blogged before. That's right, yeah. So one of the things you'll see is you have a H1 and H2 settings. Uh, you'll have uh, an area where they have predefined styles for uh, for quotes and for links, as well as your bold, italicized, underlined, strike through, uh, left justify, or sorry, right, left, left align center and uh, right align, as well as your numbered and bulleted lists. And if you wanted to add an image or embed a video, you can all do that inside the post. It's very, very powerful. Go ahead and paste this in. And then you might want to tweak it and clean it up a little bit. Yeah. As a matter of fact, actually, when you're doing these, sometimes the uh, the paragraphs may seem um, spaced apart a little odd. So it's okay to go back and actually re return to the previous paragraph and hit enter on most of your paragraphs, just so the formatting is done correctly. Because it is a little weird when you are copying from Word into, uh, into a WYSIWYG editor like this. So we're going to clean this up a little bit. A uh, number of the hyperlinks uh, clearly carried over, so we don't need to add that. I am going to add one hyperlink just to make sure you know how to do it. So we'll just take a second here and get these in. Now we've put the article in. Yes, now we, we, you know, we've gone through and, uh, and basically kind of cleaned up some of the formatting issues. We do want to go back and let's keep, let's keep in mind some things that are pretty powerful when it comes to Google indexing uh these articles because google does index it believe it or not so one of the things you do want to do is that you know, keep in mind that the title itself is in an h1 heading okay so google when they they look at the structure of the page they're looking for an h1 and they're looking for an h2 so a subheading as well so there's one thing i would recommend is that right above the first paragraph that you write is you put in an h2 heading so now we, we put in a, another subtitle. This is going to help with, uh, with Google indexing the article. Uh, so what we want to do is highlight this line and then click on H2. That's it. So now we have the H1, which is the title itself, and the H2 yep, as well. Which is your subtitle. Excellent. Now I want to add a hyperlink to the press release. Uh, so here I'm going to go over and grab the press release. This is a press release that went out about the training we did uh, for the Chinese. So I'm copying this, control C it. And I'm going back here and right here, I'm going to hyperlink this line to it. So I'll click the little link bar here, opens a window, I put this in and then click add. And now you see the underline that people are familiar with. Right. Exactly. So one thing I do want to point out here is that you can, if you are using Google Analytics, so, you know, let's say, for example, you do want to track 
um, visitors that are coming into, let's say you were hosting your own press release page, okay, or you want to have people go visit your landing page from your long form post, don't forget to put in your UTM characters, uh, UTM codes basically for um, for for any of your links that you're that you have coming from LinkedIn, um, especially if you're running a campaign using long form posts on LinkedIn. Excellent. Excellent points. Okay, so now we have several options. We can save it, delete it, or publish it. Uh, while you're working on it, make sure to save it periodically. So we'll go ahead, save. So now it's here in draft form. You see the word draft. So if we left and came back by clicking on the pencil, we could find it here. So now that we've saved it uh, and we're ready to go, we can publish it. Remember, after you publish it, you can edit it as well, yes. which is an important piece. So you find a typo. Go back in there and edit. So we're going to publish it and then see how it looks online. It says, are you sure? Yep. Publish it. So now it's published. Let's go back to my profile and then we'll view my profile as others do. So we click uh, view as on the profile. That's another new feature they've added. And then there it is. So if we click on it. So we're viewing it like someone else does. It shows up. It has the information. There's our H1, our H2. There's the hyperlink. If I click on it, it goes to the press release. You'll want to go through and just double check your hyperlinks. We're not going to do it at the time, but at least this is something you want to check. And then let it cook. You know, you may want to share it on LinkedIn or share it on Twitter. Yeah, you definitely, uh, you know, link, uh, your followers are going to get a notification that you publish your post. Uh, so that folks will come back and check it out. Uh, don't be afraid to share, you know, these, uh, your articles within relevant groups. Uh, so that way those who are outside of your first degree network can actually see these articles. Uh, depending on the velocity of the article, uh, which basically means how many people read it and like it and comment it, it could actually get picked up and put into uh, LinkedIn Pulse under one of their categories, uh, like a sales strategy category or, or something like this could be under like a, like a business general business category, uh, which then will go and expand way beyond your extended network. And this is where you want to make sure it's quality and not over promotional. That's because right. if I were them and I were editing and you've got links at the bottom to try to get them to get your ebook and everything else, I would say no to it. And it looks like they're doing the same thing. Yeah. And so they do have people who uh, over with LinkedIn, they have a, a great team there who is actually you know, going through and editing um, or curating the content that actually shows up in, in Pulse. Uh, which is a separate app you can get for your for your phone, whether you have an Android or or, um, or iOS device. So here it's going to show views and content, and there's nothing wrong with, of course, sharing it yourself on your own. So here I'm going to go ahead and share this one. Uh, I might put in, I have a few hashtags, add a hashtag here, you know, something to yep. that effect, yep. and tweet her out. Now, again, where do you go if you want to get back to it? The uh, quickest way is you go here on your, your page and click the little pencil, and then you're going to be able to find the posts that you did. Uh, we're going to go back. I have a number of drafts, so it's right. And then I'll find it, and I'll be able to go in and edit it. So that's the key thing to understand. You can edit it and update it. This completes this simple tutorial. Look forward to hearing your comments below, and also listen to our podcast show. Hey, you can find it on iTunes or Stitcher or Player FM or TuneIn. Uh, just search for Linking Into Sales. Go to our site, linkingintosales.com, to find our latest training. Uh, we offer customized training as well as classroom training at NC State Technology Training Solutions. We look forward to catching up with you.